Hello everyone, this video is going to be about how to concatenate rows from a CSV file into a Python list. In this tutorial we'll be reading a CSV file into Python and combining all the records from a single column. So I have a CSV file here which contains the forward sortation areas in the year of 2016 in Canada. A forward sortation zone is a geographical unit based on the first three characters in a Canadian postal code. As you can see we have the headers of the data here in the first line of the file. The three letter forward sortation area is stored in the first column, the uh, province ID is stored in the second column, and finally the province name in English and French is stored in the third column. So the objective here is in this demo is to take the first column and combine it into a Python list. So we are first going to import the CSV module into Python, and then I'm going to open this CSV file into Python using with open curly bracket Canada FSA underscore 2016 dot CSV as CSV file. And then I'm going to pass the file to the CSV reader. We will then give the reader name called reader. So the CSV reader comes from the CSV module. What this does is it creates a reader object that then I can iterate over to get every row in my file. So this file has a lot of records and to not overwhelm your screen with records, we will create a count variable to limit how many records we will return. So I'm just going to assign the count to equal to zero. We will also create a list variable and call it FSA, which stands for forward sortation area. We will use the square brackets to create our empty list. We will later append all our rows from the first column of the CSV file into it. Now we're going to loop over each row, so we will do for row in reader, and we're going to make count equals count plus one to keep track of what row we're at. We will also add print row. We will also add if count is greater than 10, break. So this will limit the results to 11 in our terminal since count starts at 0. So let's run the script so far in our terminal to see what our results are. And in case you missed it, I'm running the script from the same directory as my Excel file. I'm going to run the Python script by doing Python and then file name. So what you'll notice in Python is it is returning a list for each record and the first row has our header in it while the following rows is our data. The first thing that is apparent is that some of the encoding of our first column and the province names didn't come out quite right. So to correct this I'm going to specify the encoding on my CSV file when it was imported into Python by adding the encoding parameter to be encoding equals utf-8-sig. So now if we go back to our terminal and run this again, what you'll see is that it is printing the data with the correct encoding. All right, so now in our terminal, we have the first row being the column names while the rows after that being the first 10 rows in my data set. So if we want to isolate the CFSA UID record in each row, we can print row square bracket zero since this is the first column in our CSV file. This will return only the CFSA UID column name for the first 10 records. Now since our CSV file contains the header information in our first row, but we actually don't want to include the column name in our Python list in our end result, we can actually use the column name to create our list of the CFSA UID easier. So instead of using csv.reader when we read our data, we will use csv.dictreader. So what this will do is it will convert each row into a Python dictionary. This will use the column keys for each key in the row. So in our case, we will add row square brackets CFSAUID, which is the column name, to our print statement and give it a run. Now what you'll see here is our column heading is not being returned in our print statement. So our next step is we're going to append each row into our Python list by adding fsa.append curly brackets row square brackets cfsauid 
and to finish off our script we will simply print out our CFSA list by doing a print FSA so we can now see the, re the results in our terminal. So when we run this now in our terminal we will now see we have created our Python list successfully. So you have now successfully created a Python list from a CSV file using the dict reader method in CSV module. So I hope this quick Python tutorial was helpful. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on my next one. Thanks again and see you next time.